everybody now you know what it is it's a towel on the head video <laughs> anyway so um i got my love you so mochi in ooh, ooh. this one is um i think the electric palette or whatever super pretty colors and then i got the it's like an Ulta haul, peeps. I got the Makeup Revolution. This is the highlighter, the Ultra Glow one. This is kind of a good, you know, comparison or dupe for the Jeffree Star one. I'm not lying. It really is. Um, so I'm going to play with these two today. And then I got the other Love You So Mochi palette, which look at the sparkle in that sucker. Yeah, I swatched it there yesterday. I had to. <laughs> And then I got, and this is the Ultra Pro Glow 2 palette. <laughs> ah. And let's open her up. They look so pretty. So today, since I'm wearing my blues, I am going to play with these two. Now, I seen online a couple of, you know, I seen on YouTube, obviously, a couple of people dibbling in um, the Love You So Mochi palette, and they say you don't need like um, a different palette. However, these are all kind of shimmery, so I don't see being able to work directly just only using this palette because, um, yeah, they're all kind of shimmers. I think I think you need a little bit of a matte so um, to kind of you know blend it up and everything. So then I'm going to play with, hold up, let's see if I can open it. My Morphe. I'm probably going to dig into the blues. So I'm going to try to get this party started and see how it rolls and let you guys know. Hold on. Okay, now I will tell you guys something. I love, this is Origins. It is their um, Willow Herb Matte Moisturizer, whatever. I use this every day before I apply my makeup because it is just wonderful. It is a little pricey, but it lasts a long time. You just need just a little bit. And I think it's a perfect, perfect, wonderful, you know, just face moisturizer before you apply your makeup on your face. So just wanted to give you that tidbit of at least what I use. Okay, and then for the primer, I love the Dr. Brannett one, the luminizing one. However, it's so expensive. I, I got it BoxyCharm, obviously, but I only use this like when I want my makeup to look really good. You know, like I don't really generally use it when I'm going to work because I just don't. Um, but if I'm going out or if I'm doing something for the day and I want my makeup to look better, my foundation to look better, that's what I use. Um, so, and I'm a Mac girl. I love, 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 love Mac. I'm, I think the and uh, natural warm like 10 or something, NW10 or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, okay, hold on. I forgot to tell you. So anyway, if I am just doing whatever day um, for, I'm digging in my stuff, I'm sorry for not looking at you. Um, I use Avon. I don't like e.l.f. primers. I don't, I think they're too silicone-y, too greasy, too, I, I just don't like it. And I tried a couple different ones. I don't like it. And for concealer, I always use ColourPop. I just love it. And for actually my um, eyeshadow primer, hard candy, <laughs> nothing, nothing expensive. Um, I know some people like, oh, this is, but hard candy. And then I'm just going to try to work on this face. And I'm doing a lot of pausing. I'm sorry, because I don't want to make the video like 20 minutes long because it would, no. <laughs> so hold on. Okay, for eyeliner, well, actually for the powder, I use the... Um, too Faced Born This Way um, finishing powder. I love the Urban Decay 24 Hour Glide On Gel Liner. It's under, love this stuff. It lasts a long, long, long time. So now I'm gonna get into playing with this guy and we're gonna see, but again, I don't see you being able to use this just by itself because they're all kind of sugar glittery. So I don't want like a kabam. So I'm gonna dip into Morphe a little bit and see how that rolls and come back and we'll test it out and see how it is. Hold on, sorry. Okay, I'm back. So actually now that I'm like dibbling in it a little bit, you actually can. So I'm gonna use this little shade like up in here. I don't know the names of it, people, and I don't feel like looking at the back of it to, and I'm just doing like the crease area with that. You can actually, it's really nice to be honest. I did put a tiny touch a little Morphe on, um, just cause there was no really neutral, neutral transition shades so I um 
put a little tiny touch of the Morphe on. This I'm just doing in my crease with. Hold up. I actually might dig into the Heavy Metals palette to kind of complete this, though, to be honest. This is a ColourPop brush. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, oh, I forgot. To, I got. <laughs> I got an email. I reached VIP for <laughs> ColourPop. That's terrible. Oh God, that's really funny. So anyway, um, this is really pretty so far. I mean, I got a little better lighting on this thing so these guys can see a little bit better. Hold up, let me just fix it a little bit. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're really pretty, pretty shade. I really think I'm gonna dig into the, um, my Heavy Metals palette though for this just a little bit, just to really pop it out. Um, but it's a really, really, so far it works out. If I say really, really one more time, I give these guys permission to slap me really hard. <laughs> this thing here is so old. It's a smudge brush, and I can't find anything like it. I don't remember where I got it from. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, but it's a great, great, great brush. This is pretty. These colors are really super pretty. And actually... I do my makeup like a typical person. I don't do the whole beauty guru thing, people. I just really don't. Um, I don't wear makeup like all the way up here to my eyebrows because I find that completely ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, that's just me. I mean, it's okay if you guys do, but I have like, I'm high like in here, so if I turn, it would just look really funky. I did that back in the 80s though. I mean, that totally was an 80s look. So, <laughs> um, but I really, really like I like the blues there. It's really super, super pretty. Um, but I am actually going to use... I, these are really pretty. They, they blend really nicely. They really do. And they're a good price point. They really are. They, I like the price of these. Um, so, so far, this one I like a lot. I mean, it's really super pretty. You can work with it solo. You don't need, um, like... The only thing I really needed was, I think you need just one other palette just for that base after you put your um, eyeshadow primer on. I think you just need that one because everybody uses like a light neutral, like tannish, brownish, beigeish, whitish, you know, just base. And this doesn't come with it. So unfortunately, that's like one thing that you kind of got to do. But other than that, you can skip it. You don't need to do that. It's not 100% necessary. Oh my God, under my eyes have creased. For some odd reason, so bad. Ooh, my eyes are puffy. Hold on one sec, peeps. Okay, so I did just pop a little of the Urban Decay. This one is on the inner corner. I just wanted that little extra pop of love, I guess. Um, I really hate how this palette comes, so to be perfectly honest, this is so um, inconvenient, I want to say, and it's heavy, but the shades are nice, so... I will actually just pop on my, this stuff is great. This is the mascara that I was talking about in, oh yeah, Faith, good job, in the um, Ulta bag. This is the Ulta plumper, whatever. And my hands are not agreeing with me today. Let these guys out. Well, now they're gonna play with me. Spread out. Spread out. Hold on. All right. Let me fix this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Love this stuff. I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes because I wear eyeliner there. Um, but I can try it for giggles. I'm not very good at it, to be honest. I don't have a steady hand, so. Like I can do one side better than the other, like that side. There, I got it. That's just how I have to do it because I don't have a steady hand. Um, I have to play with it a little bit more um, than usual. So, I know this is a crappy video, but I just wanted to show you guys actually me using it. Let me just fix that bottom. Uh, 
Um, but I wanted to show you guys me actually using it. <laughs> I lost my, oh, here, wait, no, no, there it isn't. <sighs> okay, I gotta fix my eyeliner a little bit because my eyes have been watering. I know I'm not gonna say the palette made my eyes water because it didn't. <laughs> you know, you can see that. All right. All right, I am almost done, but this is the eyes. I think it's a very nice palette. I'm gonna play with this highlighter really quickly. I'm gonna try not to make this a long video, but <laughs> I can open it. All right, so hold up. I'm just gonna do a few more things and I'll be right back. I did wanna show you guys this really quick though. I think this is why I'm a VIP with ColourPop. Three rows high, people. Three rows high. I have an obsession. This is every lipstick I ever wanna own in the mats from ColourPop, but I thought these guys would find that funny. Hold on. Okay, now I'm ready to play with the highlight just a little bit. Since I'm wearing the blues, I'm actually gonna go for this little guy. Oops, can't see. This little guy right here. So we're gonna try it and see. I use just this, this is the highlighter brush I got. I think, was this one from FC Peeps? Oh, wow. Hold on. I gotta be careful because I know when I swatch this one, oh, that's nice. I don't know if you can see it, Peeps, but I can. Very pretty. That's the only place I put my highlighter is up in here. I don't put it in my nose. I actually use a contour palette because I got the, like, the little jowls because I'm getting old. So I bring it down here and then I just highlight with a, not a highlighter like that, just like a regular face palette and do this and this. But this is my finished face, clueless ColourPop lips. That's what one I went with. This is really pretty. This, I mean, all the colors swatch really nice and everything. But I don't know, I think you can, guys can see the highlight. It is gorgeous. This palette, I think, is absolutely amazing. Hold on, i got to put my glasses back on. This is absolutely amazing. I love it. So I'm just going to do my hair. I'll come back with the finished look. And I'm sorry that it's 12, well, it's already 12 minutes long. My bad. Okay, kids, this is my finished look. I like the palette. I think it's beautiful. I do. I'm going to see, obviously, if it'll wear all day. I'm sure it will. I very rarely, I, even the Urban Decay eyeliners that I wear, because I don't rub my eyes, so it's going to last all day. I know a lot of people do videos where, oh, well, it lasts all day or whatever. It does, unless you rub your eyes, you know. I mean, I can't really see it fading. Um, say hi, honey. Hello. Just saying hi. Say hi again. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I actually was going to maybe do a live one with me playing with the other two palettes that I got. Um... Where is Holly? Um, I was going to do the other two palettes I got. Let me know if you guys want to maybe see a live where you can see, like, me from start to finish. I don't think you guys would care. But if you do, I'm cool with it. I'll do it. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? I totally forgot. Anyway, but I do have, you know, the other set of Love You Some OGs. And I have the ColourPop palettes that I got in. I'm waiting for my Pop Lux highlighter still. I was, I'm going to do a cool video on that one. But, um... Let me know if you guys would want to maybe see a live or whatever or certain products you want to see. Um, let me know because I got tons. Hugs and kisses to y'all. I hope you have a great day.